as one of the largest electric cooperatives in the nation, serving in six counties north of Dallas and Fort Worth. Our growth has been phenomenal. It's a little bit scary because we're adding so many customers and so much load annually that if we didn't have GIS system, I, I don't know how we would keep up. The roads are always growing and changing and it's a difficult task for everyone to keep up with the massive growth. But with ArcGIS Online, you're getting information immediately in your hands, right when it's updated in our GIS system in real time. It's unacceptable to think that we're not going to serve that growth because the consequences of that are that we don't keep the lights on. Well, when I first came to work here, we had the, uh, these small orange map books with, uh, I guess, all of our system pretty much drew out on each page. You had a little old grid card, you'd have to uh, grid it all out and try to find the right location out in the field. You don't have any idea where the transformers are. And if they wasn't very reliable, no telling where you'd wind up at. I would say the instant wins of deploying ArcGIS Online were reliability for our field crews and the ability to access the information quickly. They don't have to hope that they have the right information or that the information they have is outdated. The tools are just right on your phone or on your tablet or on your laptop or wherever you want to do your work from. Lane Boulevard, coming out of switchgear 81004. Sometimes we're driving out, we're looking at lines to verify that the line is what it says it is. And it's great just to be able to mobily go out and verify for that information. We can be proactive and fixing some of the voltage issues, fixing some of the power quality issues, and catching any capacity deficits at least five years before we actually have them. The accuracy of the information is getting better and better every year, which cuts down our time, and the cost goes down. Our first major project using ArcGIS Online was our streetlight inventory pilot. Okay, we're over on Indigo Drive, fixing to set up here on uh, Sedalia. Trying to take any inventory of any type at CoServe is a very difficult project. And it allowed us to see the feasibility of ArcGIS Online to support a project very large in scope and adapt to the high growth in our territory. We expected to map two subdivisions in a month but we were able to beat that by 150%. After the streetlight project, we moved on to a more mission critical job, using ArcGIS Online to deal with power outages. Yeah, we do have a broke pole just north of Denton. We found we could respond much faster than ever before. I believe we have a crew real close to there. Should have somebody on the line within 10 minutes. The uh, guys out in the field can see the same thing that the guys in dispatch see. They'll be looking at their online map so they can be sure they're set up the right switch. For our field crews, um, it, it changes their life. Now that we knew how well ArcGIS Online could handle our data, we started to deploy it company-wide. We can bring information into our engineering analysis tool and it allows us to accurately start our planning it brings an opportunity to engage customer service where they can now look up very quickly and easily, do we serve this area or can this member buy service from us? The technology is simple to set up and use. It's easy to bring in new folks that have never used GIS. You'll see gains in productivity, you'll see cost reductions, you'll see manual processes get automated. So it, it really does become kind of a cornerstone of everything that you'll do. Dallas is growing by leaps and bounds, and it doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. What gets me excited about ArcGIS is just the fact we're able to stay on top of the growth. Once you make this technology available, people will latch on to it, and once they see it, the, the light bulb comes on for them. And so we're seeing an entirely different way of doing business in the future.